Hail and fair welcome to another Comic Collision on Grudge Match, the show that pits the champions of the world of fandom against one another in mano a mano competition. Today's show sees two interstellar badasses with a penchant for immortality going head to head. Marvel's resurrecting roughneck, Drax the Destroyer, against DC's main man and bounty hunter extraordinaire, Lobo. The similarities between these two characters are inescapable. Both of these characters exist in the cosmic realms of their respective universes, being out among the universe, interacting with different alien species and going planet to planet. But despite the high technology and sci-fi feeling of the worlds that they inhabit, they both tend to be very low-class, hyper-violent, anti-hero alien characters who prefer getting down and dirty with their bare hands and fighting in a very visceral kind of way to the more high-technology super weapons that tend to be used by the alien and sci-fi characters that they go up against. As well as both having an inherent ability to resurrect or just flat out not die, which makes them both very, very difficult to overcome in combat. Taking a look at them both in more detail now, Drax the Destroyer was originally created in 1973 and started off his life as a human named Arthur Douglas. He and his family were traveling through the desert when the ship driven by Thanos, the Mad Titan, was trying to descend to Earth. Believing that the Douglas family had seen him and wanting to keep his existence there on Earth a secret, Thanos attacked the family and seemingly killed Arthur Douglas and his family. But Thanos' father, Mentor, intercepted the soul of Arthur Douglas before it could go to the afterlife and used it to power up a artificial body that he had created to serve as a nemesis for his son Thanos and somebody who would be able to challenge him. So Arthur Douglas resurrected as Drax the Destroyer. In his original creation, he was a big, green-skinned, almost looking like the Hulk with a green cape, and he was very, very powerful, physically able to match Thanos in almost all of his physical abilities, and that included superhuman strength and endurance, energy projection, flight, self-sustenance, immortality, all of those things. Now, in the 2003 Annihilation crossover, he suffered a death and then an immediate resurrection, as is part of his power set. But when he resurrected, he came back slightly different than he had been through most of his existence. In his current incarnation, he does not have the ability to fly, he's not quite as physically powerful as he used to be, and he doesn't have energy projection abilities anymore. But what he gained in that resurrection was a higher level of intelligence and all-around better fighting skills. So at present, Drax has superhuman strength, which enables him to lift about 40 to 50 tons. He has greatly enhanced endurance, reflexes, and durability. And he still, as always, has his ability to resurrect after death. Anytime he's killed, he will come back to life, maybe different than he was when he died, but always able to resurrect. Lobo was created in 1983 and his original conception was that he was supposed to be a parody of Marvel's Wolverine. However, the character ended up being very popular in his own right and has continued on through to today. Lobo's backstory is he is the last surviving member of the Sarnian race, and in fact, it's rumored that he was actually the one who killed off the entire rest of his race because he wanted to be the last one alive. Now Lobo has superhuman strength and self-sustenance, just like Drax does, but Lobo has higher levels of superhuman strength in that he has been able to, at times, challenge incredibly powerful members of the DC Universe, such as Superman, blow for blow. However, his strength level is inconsistent. Sometimes it seems to be at a Superman level, sometimes it's a lot more scaled back, and weaker superhuman strength characters can fight him on the same level. Additionally, he has the power of self-sustenance. He can go without air, food, water, as well as being just generally immortal. It's almost impossible to kill Lobo, and he has a hyper-advanced healing factor, which can bring him back from almost any injury. He can even resurrect out of a 
pool of blood. If he's reduced down to just a pool of blood, he can come back from that as well. Additionally, he's been literally cursed to not be able to die. He's been rejected by both heaven and hell, and it's generally believed that he is flat out unkillable. So this puts Drax and Lobo both in an interesting position because for all intents and purposes, neither one of them can truly die. If you kill Drax, he's always going to be able to resurrect. And if you somehow massively injure Lobo down to just practically nothing, he'll still be able to resurrect himself out of that as well. These characters also possess a lot of similarities in the way they orient themselves in battle. They both tend to favor getting down and dirty with their fists or small weapons. Lobo oftentimes likes to use a hook and chain in combat, and Drax has taken a real liking to using twin daggers when he fights his opponents. But that doesn't mean that that's all that they are capable of doing. Even though both of these characters seem to be of relatively low intelligence, they're both actually highly intelligent and capable of adapting to and using almost any technology. They can both pilot the most advanced star cruisers. They're both capable of picking up and almost instantly learning how to use the most complicated of technological weaponry. And they both possess a high level of general fighting ability in terms of interstellar martial arts that they've mastered and just generally being experts at delivering pain and punishment and devastation upon their enemies. So having looked at the powers and abilities of both of these characters, it's now time to determine a winner. That winner's going to be... Lobo. In a match where neither character can be totally killed for any permanent length of time, the winner is really going to come down to who is able to incapacitate the other for the longest period of time. Now, Lobo, if he were to be killed or damaged sufficiently to the point where you could say he's dead, would resurrect pretty quickly. His healing factor would kick in, and even out of just a pool of blood, a new Lobo would rise within minutes. Whereas Drax, on the other hand, if enough damage is done to him to the point where you could say he's been killed, he might stay that way for up to a day or even longer before a new Drax would resurrect out of the old. Additionally to that, Lobo does have superior physical strength between the two, as well as a slightly higher degree of general invulnerability. So Lobo would have a better chance of being able to deliver devastating damage onto Drax, and even if Drax was able to respond in kind, Lobo would heal from it or resurrect from it quicker than Drax would. So based on those considerations, Lobo, the main man of the DC Universe, is going to take the win in this grudge match. So message me down below and let me know what you think of how this grudge match went down, and of course any suggestions for future fights, and I'll see you next time on the next edition of Grudge Match.